What's up everyone? Today's video is going to be a little different because we're talking about 10 new Final Cut Pro features that I would love to see Apple introduce in future FCPX updates. These are all features that would be absolute game changers for me. Apple has an enhancement request feedback form where you can go to request features and maybe, just maybe, if enough of us request these features, Apple might make some of them happen. Who knows? Before we get into the list, I have requested all 10 of the features listed in this video, but it would be really cool if you guys did the same, or at least put in requests for the features that you would like to see in future updates of Final Cut Pro. I've added a link in the description down below for that feedback form for you guys. Okay, let's get into the first feature, which is a Bezier curve for keyframes. The keyframe functionality in Final Cut Pro is pretty weak. When you keyframe the position of a clip, you can right click on a keyframe and choose between linear or smooth but you can't do that for scale, which is really annoying. I would love it if I were able to double click on a clip to open up a keyframe editor. If you had access to a Bezier curve, you could have way more control over your keyframes and easing in and out of keyframes. It would be really nice if this Bezier curve was available on any property that's capable of keyframing. Apple already has this built into motion, so I don't think it would be that difficult to incorporate it into Final Cut Pro. And I don't think it would take away the need for motion either because motion is really powerful and is so much more than just keyframing. I would love the ability to see multiple timelines at the same time. Imagine right clicking on a project and being able to open it in a new timeline window so that you can see two timelines at the same time. I see it working in a way where you click on one of the timeline windows and that becomes the active timeline which is then what is shown in your viewer window. This would be handy if you need to copy clips from one timeline to the other. You could simply alt click and drag to copy. It would also be handy to have two timelines open at the same time if you're making changes to an edit for a client who's giving you time codes, which changes as you make the edits. You can have the original edit on one side to see the time code and then the new edit on the other side so you can make the changes. I'd love to see an audio mixer as an added Final Cut Pro feature. Right now you have to adjust your audio on a clip by clip basis which is great and I know there are some workarounds by creating compound clips and adding audio effects to them, but that's not an ideal workflow. Let's say I have an organized timeline with audio roles set for dialogue, maybe even split into different speakers. I have music and sound effect roles. I would love to click on a little mixer icon to show my mix window where I can apply a compressor, for example, to all of my dialogue at the same time. Or maybe I want to drop the level of my sound effects or add an EQ to all of the music. An audio mixer would help me to make some final audio tweaks when my edit is done to really finish up the audio nicely. Next up, I want to add customized shortcuts to my timeline. If you look at your timeline window, you have all this empty space. I think it would be cool to be able to add effects, titles and transitions that you use often to this area. Imagine being able to have quick access to a draw mask effect or an adjustment layer or a bunch of transitions that you use all the time. You could simply drag and drop them onto your clips instead of trying to find them in your browsers. The closest you can currently get to something like this is by creating a virtual touch bar using Command Post. I created a video on Command Post going into detail about this, so I'll leave a link in the description down below if that's something that you want to check out. The next feature is something that Final Cut Pro editors have been asking for for years. OMF or AAF export. If you're not familiar with OMFs or AAFs, they are basically exports of all the audio in your project and each file is exported individually with handles on either end of the cut so that you can bring it into professional audio software like Pro Tools or Logic for Final Mix. We had an OMF export feature in Final Cut Pro 7. I think I'm showing my age here, but please can we have it back? I would also like to see a speech to text feature for subtitles and captions. It would be really nice to add a special subtitle title that looks for an audio input and requires you to play back the audio underneath it in order to generate the automatic subtitles. There are automated tools online for this kind of thing where you can convert speech to text, create an SRT file and you can bring that into Final Cut Pro, but Apple does have Siri. I'm not a programmer, but I'm sure Apple can incorporate that technology into Final Cut Pro for automatic subtitles. The next feature involves motion and I would love to see better motion integration. If you've ever used Premiere Pro and After Effects, you might be familiar with the option to select a bunch of clips and to right click on it and say replace with After Effects composition. Then anything you do in After Effects will appear in that section without After Effects needing to be open or without it needing to be rendered out. 
being able to replace a bunch of clips with a motion project would be a really useful feature. A force relink feature would also be really great. If you've ever had a problem relinking footage, especially when you know that the file you're trying to relink is the right one, but Final Cut Pro gives you one of those errors like the original file and the new file have different audio source and channel counts, then this feature would force the relink to happen and adapt the clip accordingly. You could do this in Final Cut Pro 7, so it would be nice to see it in FCPX. Another simple but useful feature would be the ability to rename color adjustments. If you've seen my video on my six-step approach to color grading, you'll know that I like to make different adjustments on separate color wheels or curves. It would be nice to be able to rename these effects so that I can quickly see which one is which before editing them. For the last feature on this list, I'd love to be able to show duplicate clips in the timeline. Imagine you've cut together a massive 26-minute edit and you need to make sure that you haven't used the same shot more than once. It would be nice to right-click on a clip and select Show Duplicates on Timeline and any sections of that selected clip would be highlighted or soloed on the timeline so that you can go ahead and replace them. Those are the 10 new Final Cut Pro features that I would like to see in future updates, but I want to hear from you guys. Which of these features would you most like to see? Also, if you have any features that you would add to this list, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget that you can click on that link to send those requests directly to Apple, and I encourage you to do so. But if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.